Hi everybody, my name is Tommy Cuevas, your personal cloud engineer here at Velocio, and today I'm going to show you how to create a secure document library within your SharePoint environment. So, just so you're aware, document libraries are separate repositories that you can create within SharePoint pages uh, that uh, basically create a what would be kind of similar to as a, a separate network drive uh, for your end users to access files from. Generally, I create separate document libraries based off of security requirements. So say, for instance, you have a document library that you want everybody to have access to in your organization. That is usually the default document library that is created in your SharePoint page whenever you create a SharePoint page. But then, say, for instance, I want to go ahead and create one that not everybody has access to. As a matter of fact, I want to restrict it to only the owners of my SharePoint environment. So I'm going to share my screen real quick and show you how to do that. Uh, so here's my demo environment. I'm going to go ahead and click on my settings and I'm going to go to site contents. This is the back end of your SharePoint uh, site. So this is going to house your document libraries, templates, lists, site assets, uh, any uh, calendars that you've created for your SharePoint site. Uh, site pages that you've created for your SharePoint site, but I want to go ahead and focus on a document library. So I'm going to click on new here and I'm going to click on document library. And we're just going to start from blank. And I'm going to go ahead and put this as, uh, let's see, secure. So I'm going to name this my secure document library. I'm going to go ahead and, and leave it up on the navigation site just so you aware, are aware. If you do enable this where it's going to be in your navigation bar, so this guy right up here, if you do not have permissions for this site, it will not show up in your navigation bar. So I'm going to click Create. It's going to create that document library for me. And the first thing it does is pop me into it. But I want to make sure this document library is only accessible for owners of the site. So I'm going to go back into my settings here. I'm going to go into my library settings. I'm going to go to more library settings. And now I'm at the back end of my document library. And right here underneath permissions and management, I'm going to go ahead and click on permissions for this document library. Now keep in mind, document library permissions are separate from SharePoint site permissions. SharePoint site permissions that people means that people have access to the site itself. Doesn't mean that they have access to all the content in the site. It just means that they have access to the site. In this case, we want people to be able to access this document library through the site, but only owners. One of the first things that I tell people when I'm training around SharePoint is there's a reason why there's a yellow banner, right? So always check what the yellow banner is telling you. So in this case, it says this library inherits its permissions from its parent site, and it's going to inform you of what the parent site is or the parent uh, folder permissions or document library permissions. And if I click on here, it's going to go ahead and pull me into the site permissions. But in this case, we want to go ahead and what's called break inheritance. So I'm going to click on my break inheritance or stop inheriting permission button here. Now, the nice thing is, is that SharePoint is very forgiving. So say, for instance, I do go in here and I'm going to remove my members and my visitors out of here. And I, I'm going to leave my owners uh, alone because I want them to be able to access this document library. All I have to do is click on remove user permissions. Now, this isn't going to remove these groups out of my site permissions because we've broken inheritance. Basically, we've said this document library is special. It has its own permissions set up for this. So we'll go ahead and do that. And as of right now, the only people that have access to this document library are the site owners. Now, say for instance, I messed up. I accidentally uh, went into the wrong document library and I've removed the permissions from people that actually need to have access to this uh, document library. The great thing is all I have to do is click on delete unique permissions, say, hey, okay. And once it refreshes, all those permissions from the parent site are dropped down into my secure document library. And now anybody that has access to the, to the site itself also have access to my document library. 
If you have any more questions around security or SharePoint permissions, please feel free to reach out to us at Velocio. We also do everything within the Microsoft stack. So if you just have questions about Microsoft systems, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope to hear from you real soon.